Hello, hello. Welcome back to a, another video. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to say a, a massive thank you to everyone that responded to the uh, Hermitcraft video. I wasn't quite expecting that uh, uh, level of response, and I'm very grateful for everyone who decided to contribute in the comments of that video and like it and whatnot, and obviously those who subscribe to the channel. Uh, yeah, massive thank you for that. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Um, so I'm glad a lot of people feel uh, the same way that I do when it comes to, uh, you know, what we talked about in that video. So if you haven't watched that, uh, go ahead and give it a watch if you're new here. And uh, for those who did watch it, obviously a massive thank you. But um, I wanted to showcase another little build I did today, which was this greenhouse right here. I'll throw in some clips underneath when I'm talking right now. I was uh, going around my house and I talked about in the Hermitcraft video, how I wanted to remodel my house, uh, because this house is very old for those of you who don't know. I've had this um, this wooden house for about five years now, so it's a little outdated when it comes to the texturing and the build style. Um, it's very 2018-esque, and so uh, I've been kind of redoing this whole area right here. There used to be these like spruce trees right here, and I took those down so that I could have a clear visual of the house right here. And basically what I've been doing uh, since yesterday was I kind of mined out this whole area of dirt and replaced it with moss and uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to put here yet but I think I'm going to put something here I don't know maybe some sort of like rock with water in it and the water has like a mini waterfall and I don't know I I'm going to figure out something to do with there but what I wanted to showcase what I wanted to showcase in this video was that I made uh, the greenhouse and I finished it. Uh, just ignore that right there. Those uh, trap doors are freshly placed so they haven't oxidized yet and uh, I don't have enough honey to stop all of the copper from oxidizing so it's not entirely finished yet. There's going to be some more work done to it. Eventually I'm going to go through with the axe and get them to stay on uh, this stage right here where there's like a little bit of orange and we'll kind of uh, do that like um between the uh, the two stages that are in front of this one and behind this one, so that there's like a little bit of texture and it's not repeating the same um, the same stage, because uh, that way there there will be some uh, variation within. And uh, this is actually going to be timed perfectly because it's becoming nighttime now, and there's a little bit of light in here, and I think it looks really cool at night. It's definitely more of like a fantasy greenhouse design. We have the stone walls on top with the iron bars and uh, the glass uh, roof that overhangs it so this is the inside i'll go in from my house so again it's not entirely finished right all of this stuff hasn't oxidized yet um and i haven't finished uh how i'm gonna connect this main piece because obviously this greenhouse was like never supposed to be here uh in my original plan of the house so i didn't really uh, know how to structure this yet i'm still kind of figuring that out but basically what happens is uh this furnace room that i have yet to finish a lot of this is going to be a repeating pattern in this world and why I made this channel is there are a lot of builds that have yet to be finished and so I'm going to finish them over time um, on this channel. I'm going to try and do a video like three, four times a week of just cleaning up a lot of these builds. There's a lot we have to do around here. Um, so this one is uh, the first one that I wanted to do, this little greenhouse right here. So this was obviously the entrance point. This is all going to be covered up. It's going to have a ceiling and whatnot. And so I wanted like a screen door effect, and I think it's going to look really cool once all of these copper grates oxidize to uh, this stage right here that this stair is at. I think it'll look much better. And so I uh, basically just wanted it to feel like really overgrown in here. I wanted that vibe of uh, a very, uh, what's the word, just a very natural greenhouse where things weren't too organized and whatnot. There was lots of different blocks and just a way to showcase all of my plants and uh as i mentioned perfect timing here that this is going to become night because i think it looks really cool at night you get this very uh home style vibe from this greenhouse here so i have all the different plants and leaf blocks in here and i've um used the sea pickles as kind of like a way of i don't know maybe zucchini or cucumbers or something it's a cool way to display some different plant life in here and obviously we have different flowers have yet to fill these up i had save these for the pitcher plant and whatever the other one is that the stiffer has so we still have to get that guy over at our base uh, which i plan to do in the next couple days and uh got some rooted dirt over here obviously the mangrove roots as well some cactus uh i thought this was cool obviously i'm using the end rods for the lights up here but i figured that like I don't know, this kind of looks like some sort of heating lamp or something. So maybe the plants need some sort of heat to grow. And so I put the heating lamp on the shelving to uh, help them grow. We can always just pretend 
with that. And we got the pumpkins up here with these flowers. And uh, we got some more empty pots if I want to put some stuff up there in the future. Bamboo. Uh, I always felt like these little uh, rose bushes look like um, tomatoes. So that's why I threw that in here. It looks like a tomato plant. And then this, um, I guess you could maybe pretend it's a grape plant of some sort or some sort of other fruit that is pink. Can't think of any pink fruits off the top of my head. I guess, uh, well, I guess lemons aren't pink. Pink lemonade comes from the inside, not the outside. <laughs> so that is, uh, yeah, obviously I uh, got the glow berries coming from the roof here. I think these look really cool in here because uh, like this one has where it's grown down. I think once those are hanging downwards with the berries hanging off it, it's going to look really, really cool. And obviously just from uh, the night here, uh, a couple of details that I'll show you from the outside. So uh, for one, I have the trap doors uh, right on the edge of the logs here. It just looks like some sort of support for the logs, I guess. And then these, I always like to use the buttons in my modern day building. You can see in my actual house, I haven't done that. But in this one, in my new uh, modern building style, I do use the buttons because it looks like uh, bolts on a building or screws on a building or something that's holding it together. So that's why I put that there on the tough. So I've used stone buttons this time around so that it blends in very nicely. Um, I could use them down here as well. Just haven't decided. Uh, honestly, I didn't even try that out yet. Um, might do that in the future, but yeah, that's what it looks like at night. So now we have this whole area. I haven't finished this path. This is obviously going to go in here and, um, I will overlay the different clips of me building this yesterday. So you'll see what this used to look like. And, uh, yeah, I did this cool trick here. I'll show you guys this as well. So I have like this, um, it's supposed to be some sort of drainage system. And so what I did was place the iron bars in front of a coal block because the coal block makes it look very dark in there and whatnot. And so maybe when it rains in this world or whatnot and the water builds up, um, it flows through a drainage system and ends up pouring out over here um, in this little area. So this area was really like hilly and it was just not a great visual line for this building right here. It was very hard to see anything over here and I didn't like that. So I wanted to create separation. That's why I made this wall here. And um, yeah, I still have to figure out what I'm going to do over here. I think I might extend this wall all the way this way over towards the beach. Um, you've probably seen this in a couple of my videos. I'm going to work on that eventually. That was supposed to be, um, if you remember B-Dub's building something that looks similar to this. It was just way taller. That was my attempt at that. Very, very poorly done. We're going to fix that in the future. So I'll just ignore that for now. Um, but this wall is going to extend this way. And um, I've always wanted to build a pier here or some sort of dock uh, with a whole bunch of buildings lining it. I just have never really gotten around to it. So um, yeah, so I guess uh, that's it for this video. There's so many things to do on this world. Um, so I could spend a whole I don't know. Maybe that would be a cool video. So yeah, that's really all I had to go over in this video. Didn't have anything else that I really wanted to talk about. Um, but I, yeah, and now that I said it, I think it actually may be a cool video if I were to tell you about all the things I want to finish in this world. But uh, yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this video. Thank you to all of the new people who have subscribed. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.